coming out to Korea is, is emotional for me. Growing up watching videos of some of the greatest technical b-boys on earth. And now I'm out here in Seoul, Korea. And I'm looking so forward to training with the Gambler's Crew. Oh my gosh, just naming Gambler's Crew many times. World champions, winner of the Battle of the Year International. I'm looking forward to see how your country look like, brother. Peace. Getting to Korea, I met a good old friend of mine, Daniel. Daniel's originally Korean, but grew up in America. <laughs> How you doing, homie? Good, bro. Look at you growing taller, bro. Right? Uh, I get taller every year. Look at you. You stop growing. <laughs> so what, what do you do here? Uh, I'm teaching dancing and teaching English. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, man. Daniel taught me a lot of the moves that I learned back in the days, you know, so looking at Daniel and seeing Daniel is like seeing your master again, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, we're going to uh, TIP Studios. It's, it's a famous practice spot, especially for foreigners in Korea. So most foreigners, they, they go to this spot when they first come to Korea. And uh, TIP is a world famous b-boy crew. They won uh, Battle of the Year, I think, and uh, a bunch of other competitions. So we're gonna go practice with them. Yeah, me and Daniel, when we were in Norway, we used to watch videos of TIP crew. And Daniel was like, oh man, I wanna go to my family and train with those guys. Now I'm here with Daniel in Korea. I'm gonna train with those guys. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. It is, isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti, brother. That's me. You too, my brother. Plan is to put the rap game in the choke on. Man, y'all don't want to get on that. Don't compare me to you, nigga. You ain't this. I'm in my B-boy stance. Yeah. My hoodie on and my gun in my pants. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Get my jam going on this one. Let's go.
You've been to Norway and then you came out to Korea. If you would compare the two countries, what would you say? I mean about the discipline, the amount of work they put into it, ambition. Okay, first of all, the Korean work culture, I'm not talking about b-boys, but the work culture, they work more hours than any other country in the world. And that translates into the rest of the Korean culture. Whatever they focus on, they go crazy. So what is it that they get out of breaking? Why do they break, you think, Danny? I think it's the freedom of expression. There's so much pressure on their lives. Uh, you know, Korea is also known to have the highest suicide rate What? In the world. Yeah, uh, it's because of the pressure. There's always this pressure on, from their work, from their school. And so when they can find an avenue to really express let it out. themselves and let them out, um, they fall in love with it. Wow. And I think that's why Koreans love it so much. How much is hip-hop respected in Korea? I mean, they're supporting b-boys a lot in Korea these yeah, days, Yeah, the aren't government, they? you know, they, they support the b-boy culture. They, they throw jams. They, uh, they fly b-boys to different places. And so, uh, yeah, they, they really get behind the b-boys. But it's the, it's the b-boys' parents that don't support it. Oh, you serious? Yeah, so a lot of them, you know, they almost get disowned by their parents. And uh, it's, it's almost like a shameful thing for b-boys. It's like, you know, in Korean culture, you support your parents, you know, after they get old. And it's like, how are you going to do that as a b-boy, you know, in Korea? And so it's, it's almost like you're having to choose uh, between what the parents say and what you want, and that is dishonor kind of ish yeah. for the family. So a lot of b-boys really struggle with that. So why, why the b-boys became so good, and how did they even get so disciplined that they can reach such a high level? Um, part of that is the history of Korea. It's been invaded so many times by Japan and China and so many different countries, but it's never been taken over. And it's, it's amazing because Korea is such a small country. And so Korea has had this survival thing upon them, upon their culture. And uh, Korea used to be a really poor country. Even uh, 40, 40 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, they were really poor. In fact, the president said, our goal is to become like the Philippines. No. Damn. Yeah, they looked up to the Philippines as far as economic-wise. And Philippines is a poor country. And so Koreans just worked their butts off. They worked so hard. Um, they worked all day long, yeah. went to bed, woke up early, worked the next day. Yeah. And, uh, and they became successful. Yeah. Their economy grew a lot. And uh, that just had become ingrained in their culture. That's how, what they're taught to do as a, as a young child, is just to work hard, work yeah. hard. And um, so that translated into reflected into everything that yeah, else. Yeah, every you every everything in life. Like you said earlier. Yeah. You know, I, I heard someone say, "You only get to keep what you give away." So when you try to hold on to something for yourself, um, it slips through your fingers. But when you when you hold on to it with an open hand and you and you share it, then it multiplies not just. Um, to other people, but it multiplies on you as well. And so that's something that has been in my mind for a long time, and, and I, I believe it's really true, and I can see that in your life too, as, as you, because you're someone that, that teaches many kids, and, and you, you hold on to it with an open hand, and you're sharing, and I see it multiplying in you as well. And so, yeah, I think your project's awesome. Now we're going out to the Gamblers crew out here in Korea. One of the greatest known crews in the world when it comes to extreme way of moving, extreme discipline, and power moves. You know, what do they train? What do these guys eat? Because I thought like, okay, there's probably something the way, the, the way they eat that makes them like this. But I just sat down there and saw that it's repetition, repetition, repetition of movements. That is not giving up. That is believing that they can do it. And also, they have good role models sitting around. <laughs>
hard with their school, they have, to, they have to study a lot, but on the same time, they also find time to do this hip-hop culture thing and still be some of the greatest in the world. That was very inspiring.